Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So to start off, I'm taking the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette and I'm taking the shade Transition. And on a fluffy brush, I'm just buffing that into my crease as our transition color. Then I'm taking the shade Are You Kitten Me? <laughs> just applying that on top of Transition just to darken the color up. Um, again, with a fluffy blending brush. And then I'm going back in and I'm taking the shade Teddy Bear, which is slightly darker. And again, I'm just going over that just to darken everything up and add a bit of depth and dimension to the eye. I'm using more of a harder blending brush to do this. Then we are going to be going back into the palette once more and I'm taking the shade Wine and Dine and we're going to be using this um, right in the crease area and then I am going to be blending that down onto the mobile eyelid. I wanted a kind of like um, burgundy eye going on, I wanted it to be quite sultry, quite sexy, quite vampy <laughs> but I'm just using a smaller tapered blending brush to do this making sure that the colours are all blended nicely, that there are no harsh lines and that any other skin on my eyelid is completely covered so after you've done that then, we are going to be taking the Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in the shade Bitten and I'm just taking this on a firmer blending brush and I'm just popping that right into the crease where the two colours meet um, just to blend it all out to make sure that the colours match nicely. Then I'm taking another Makeup Geek eyeshadow, this is Aphrodite and I think this is from the Makeup, the Manny Amy Way um, and Makeup Geek palette. Again, this is a darker shade so I'm taking that in just to add some depth and dimension to the outer corner and slightly onto the crease. And then last, I'm taking the shade Corrupt. This is a matte black. This is also from Makeup Geek. And on a smaller, more tapered blending brush, I'm just popping that into the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just buffing it slightly into my crease. Nothing too major, though. I wanted to keep the darkness mostly on the outside. But I'm just adding a little bit of depth. Um, and then I'm just going back over with a bit earlier just to blend it all together. Then I'm going back into the Holy Grail palette and I'm taking the shade ploof <laughs> and I'm just popping that onto my brow bone as our brow bone highlight and I'm also going to be taking the shade cranberry splash and we're just going to be popping that into the inner corner I wanted it to be quite dark I didn't want it to be a bright inner corner um, but it is still shimmery nonetheless so then I'm taking NYX liquid liner and I'm just going to be drawing a nice sharp long fierce wing today I really wanted a nice dramatic pointy wing but I'm just doing that on both eyes but I only show you one eye for some reason but I'm just using my tape as a guideline and then I'm taking the Zoeva Graphics Eyes Eyeliner in the shade Black to Earth I'm just using that to tight line so that it is all nice and dark when we go in to apply our lashes in a second so for mascara today I'm taking the Covergirl Super Size Mascara and I'm just popping that onto our top lashes for now giving them a good old coating <laughs> and then I'm going to be taking the Mandy lashes these are in the style goddess and it's actually the first time I used these today but I will leave you a discount code down below if you are interested in purchasing them so I applied those off camera just because it's easier for me um, and I'm taking some foundation this is the L'Oreal true match foundation and I'm just popping that onto my face and buffing it out I'd already primed my face prior to filming this video if you're wondering <laughs> But yeah, I'm just buffing that out. And then I'm going in with L'Oreal, uh, I was going to say then. <laughs> LA Girl Pro Conceal uh, Concealer in Natural. And I'm just using this to highlight my face. So I'm use, um, highlighting the under eye, um, chin, cupid's bow, down the bridge of my nose. And then I'm taking my buffing brush and I'm just blending all that out so it's nice and seamless into our skin. Then to set that, I'm going to be doing some baking and I'm taking the RCMA No Colour Powder. And I'm just popping that onto a brush and pressing that into my under eye area and we're going to leave that for about five minutes to carry on baking. Then I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm taking the shade Fawn and I'm just using that to contour my cheeks. Um, this is a grey toned uh, contour colour so it I thought it went perfectly with this type of look because we are a vampire we want to look quite hollow so I'm just contouring out my cheekbones my forehead my temples and under that chin gotta contour that chin away then I'm taking a big powder brush and I'm just wiping that setting powder away then after that I'm going in with the L'Oreal True Match powder um, and I'm just setting my uh, the rest of my face down just so that nothing moves and it stays nicely all day then I am taking the same contour shade that we used earlier and I'm just contouring my nose a little bit just to make it a bit slimmer. 
Then using the same 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 shades as we used earlier, I'm using Bitten and I'm using Aphrodite. I'm just buffing that along my lower lash line just to tie it all in with the top eyes and to blend it all together making sure that it is nice and smoky. Then after that, we are going in with the Zoeva Graphics Eyes, and I can't remember the shade of this, but it's like a reddish, like a burnt reddish color. I kind of thought they would give a nice, like irritated blood feeling look to the eye, <laughs> however you want to describe it. Then I'm popping on some mascara onto my lower lashes. And then I'm going in with Gerard Cosmetics Hydro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Boss Lady, which is a nice dark brownie reddy type of colour. And I'm just popping that onto my lips. Once I've applied that then, we are going to be going back in once again with the shade Aphrodite. We're also going to be taking the shade Bitten in a minute. And using a really small detailing brush, I am just going to be drawing veins coming down from my lash line, my lower lash line, down to my cheeks. Um, so basically it's just like squiggly lines and then I'm drawing them and then dabbing them out with my finger just to give the illusion that they are underneath the skin. So like I said, just going back over that with Bitten just to darken it some places up. And then after that guys, we are taking some thick blood and I'm just using the end of my paintbrush and I'm just popping that into the corners of my mouth. Um, then once I've done that, we're going in with some stage blood, which is more of a runny blood. And I'm just using that to create some droplets of blood as if we have just like, you know, eaten eaten just bit somebody's neck so i'm just using the paintbrush end of that just to drip some blood coming down from the corners of my mouth and i also do this in the inner corner and outer corner of my eyes now once i've applied the blood guys that is it that is the look completed you could pop in some fake fangs and some contacts but i don't like wearing contacts and i can't wear the fake fangs because of the braces on the back of my teeth but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not already, please click the subscribe button down below. It would really mean a lot. But yeah, hope you're having a fantastic week wherever you are. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Hey